Turning now to President Moon Jae-in's trip to Hanoi from a bilateral summit to the signing of several MOUs and attending a South Korea-Vietnam business forum. The South Korean leader spent his three-day stay seeking to bring their relations to a whole new level. He's set to leave for the Middle East soon. Our Moon Gon Young files this report from Hanoi. Hanoi. As a capital of Vietnam, the city is in and of itself an epitome of a fascinating blend of the East and the West, combining traditional Sino-Vietnamese motifs with French flair. Largely unscathed by the decades of war, Vietnamese socialist-oriented market economy has become one of the fastest growing economies in Southeast Asia. And President Moon is looking to raise the trade volume between the two countries to 100 billion U.S. dollars by year 2020. Now that would make Vietnam South Korea's second largest trading partner, outstripped only by China. From a wreath-laying ceremony at the mausoleum of Vietnam's late president and revolutionary communist leader Ho Chi Minh to an official welcome ceremony at Vietnam's presidential palace, South Korean President Moon Jae-in took all the steps appropriate for a state visit, rounding up the last 25 years of friendly relations and setting out for a new quarter century of a shared future. Since diplomatic relations were established in 1992, South Korea has become Vietnam's largest foreign investor and second biggest trading partner. Bilateral trade stood at $61.5 billion last year. Following a one-on-one -on -one between the leaders of Seoul and Hanoi, Presidents Moon and Chen Tai Kwang adopted a joint declaration for a future-oriented relationship. The two countries agreed to hold annual summits to deepen their trust, foster economic cooperation that's reciprocal and mutually beneficial, make more efforts to strengthen the prosperous people-to-people -people network, and cooperate in bringing peace on the Korean Peninsula. Vietnam highly commends South Korea's efforts to push for dialogue with North Korea to restore peace and solve the nuclear problem on the Korean Peninsula through peaceful talks. The two leaders also witnessed the signing of several agreements promoting trade, transport, labor and infrastructure cooperation. Having met with all key figures of Vietnam's leadership during his three-day stay, the South Korean president will head to Abu Dhabi today for the second leg of his overseas tour. The underlying purpose of President Moon's Vietnam trip rests on two tenets. One, South Korea is quietly bolstering alliance with like-minded economies in the face of global trade protectionism. And two, perhaps more practically, Vietnam, as one of the closest allies of North Korea, is one that Pyongyang may look to for inspiration. Moon Gon-yong, Arirang News, Hanoi.